Justin Bieber may only be 16, but he's one of the biggest pop stars on earth. And our early show special contributor Tyler McGill caught up with the teen sensation backstage at Madison Square Garden. You caught the Bieber fever, possibly. Yeah. Tyler, good morning. Good morning. Yes, I did in fact just live every teenage girl's dream. <laughs> Got to hang out with Justin Bieber and experience Bieber fever firsthand. Check it out. They come in groups of five and one fab four. Three's a magic number and two kings are better than one. They're not just rock stars, they're heartthrobs. And everywhere they go, there's complete and utter chaos. Since Elvis first shook up the 50s, every generation of female fanatics has enjoyed its own collective crush. And as I learned firsthand, this generation has Bieber fever. At age 16, Justin Bieber is a pop music prodigy. His first full album, released in March, went double platinum. He was recently nominated for two Grammy Awards, including Best New Artist. And his book, First Step to Forever, is a New York Times bestseller. Not only did I buy it, I bought it on the airport, read it on the plane. Nice. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. It definitely sparked a lot of conversation. Yeah. So 2010 has been like a pretty ridiculous year. It's, yeah, it's definitely been great. Everything's just happened so quickly. There's a reason fame has come so fast for Justin. He's the first musician to go from internet sensation to mainstream stardom. You go to a talent show, your mom records it, puts it on YouTube, and it's like 1,000 hits, 10,000 hits, 100,000 hits. Did your life start to change at that point? No, I mean, it's just, it happened really quickly. Like, I just started posting videos online, and then, like, it just got to the point where um, they, they wanted to move me out to Atlanta and start recording songs. 13 years old and living in Canada, Justin flew to Atlanta to perform for R&B singer Usher, who helped land him a record deal. Usher's a really big part of my life, you know. To call him all the time, like ask for advice. We hang out. Um, he's probably the closest person to me, um, you know, in the in the music business. But Justin's internet fans are what really make him a star. He's the third most followed person in the world on Twitter. Has sold more than seven million songs online, and his hit song "Baby" is the most viewed video in YouTube history. Baby, 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 oh. All this fame means wherever Justin goes. Things get crazy. Did you guys get a chance to see Bieber? Did he come no! out of the car? How do you deal with all that attention, especially from the girls? Um, it's great, you know. I'm 16 and I love girls. Fans like these are the reason Justin has gone platinum twice. What he really wants now is a little gold. What would that mean to pull a Grammy? It would mean the world to me. That's definitely one of my, my dreams is to win a Grammy. So to have two Grammy nominations is crazy. And if Justin does win, I can think of a few people who would be very happy. amazing. Yeah, that was uh, pretty intense out there on the street with the girls. His fans are loco. Can you give us a little, come on, baby, <laughs> baby, baby, oh, on national yeah. television, my street cred just went down the drain. Thank you very much, Eric, for that I opportunity. I have to say, an observation, you're wearing the same outfit as, as Biebs um, in the interview. That was the most amazing thing. Uh, he walks in, we shake hands, and we both immediately realize we're dressed pretty much the same. I look like his derelict older brother but he was cool about it uh, I just I've had to rethink my wardrobe since I would think now that apparently I dress like a 16 year old pop star so try to mix things up a little bit a very famous 16 year old pop yes. star. Right um, he was on our show when we did the uh, show in Miami for the Super Bowl and came out with the, you know thousands of fans it was really really fun how does he come across to you just as a person mm -hmm. I mean, that was probably one of the most interesting things. When I sat down with him, I mean, he seems young. I mean, when you see him on TV, you see him performing, you see him signing autographs. He handles himself like, you know, a veteran. Right. He's a 16-year-old kid. He's ha hanging out there with Jaden Smith, Will Smith's son. And right. They look like 16-year-old kids having a blast. So I think it's even more impressive how well he's handled the, the stardom and, and all the fame.
Because that may be the real key to all of this, because if, if he can keep his head together, he mm -hmm. certainly seems to have the talent to have a career. You see these sorts of things happen otherwise, and the kids get consumed by their own promise and well, what everybody around them is telling it's them. It's a lot so early in life. Yeah, yeah the pitfalls of being a, a child star. But he's actually, one of his mentors is Usher, who kind of did the same thing. They were signed about the same age, mm -hmm. and he's managed his way into adult success as well. So I yeah. think with those mentors, and his, his family is very important to him, I think he'll, I think he'll manage well. All right. A wardrobe is online. Wardrobe. <laughs> Tyler Miguel, thanks so much.